So I've got a door here in my scene. Uh, what I would like to do is use a point helper to rig this door to give myself the capability to animate this door. Uh, I could animate this door with just simply the geometry, but typically you want to use a point helper to do any sort of you know animation work. That way you're not laying keyframes over top of your geometry directly. So I'm going to go to the top right hand corner. I'm going to my create tab, looking out for my little triangle ruler here for my helpers. And we're going to click on point helper, simply click inside the viewport. Uh, this is what the point helper looks like by default, kind of looks like a little star-like object. Uh, typically, I prefer to work with a box-looking point helper. It also kind of looks like a dummy when I change my display options. So if we go ahead and select the point helper here, off to the right side of our screen, we have our parameters. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off cross and then turn on box. Now, if I want to change the size of this box at any point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this size parameter here. Uh, I'm not going to use my traditional scaling tools. Uh, because when I go to create my hierarchies or create my links, uh, if I use my traditional scaling tools, I might run into weird scaling issues with the geometry that then gets attached to the hierarchy with this point helper. So I'm going to go ahead and simply keep it to whatever size it is right now, right? We can change that size at any point. And we don't really want to line it up with the actual pivot uh, of our door here because right now the way our door would rotate from that pivot doesn't exactly make sense, right? We want this to rotate from the hinges here or as if this was has a uh, you know hinges or some sort of like axis point off to the left side. So I'm going to grab my point helper here and we're going to turn on some of our snap features. What I would like to do is I would like to simply snap this point helper to the edge or the outer edge of this door. So I'm going to go up to my snaps toggle here and I'm also going to right click over top of that snaps toggle. When you right click it's going to bring up your grid and snap settings window and we want to turn off grid points and turn on edge. And we'll go ahead and close that down. You can see as I simply move my cursor over top of my object, I've got a little square and you can see my cursor is actually snapping to those edges. So we'll take our point helper now, we'll just simply move it over and you can see again snapping right along that edge. And again, the reason why I want to snap this along this edge is I'm envisioning how this door is going to open. I want this to open as if I would actually be opening the door in real life. So you can see where I have it placed. And I'm going to go ahead and bring down the size here of my point helper. Typically when you're rigging objects, you shouldn't have your point helper super big, right? There's no reason for you to have a point helper, like something like you see here. Uh, I want to make it, you know, a decent, decent looking size, something that looks nice and organized as well. Right, so just bringing that down like so. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this helper to door rotation or door rot, why not? And I want to build the hierarchy of this rig here, right? Currently right now our point helper is not doing anything. So I'm going to grab my door and I'm going to go up to my select and link tool, top left hand corner. And we're going to click and hold on whatever object is going to be the child object of this rig, which in this instance is going to be the door geometry. And I'm going to move my cursor and simply drop it or release over top of that point helper that we've created. So if you go ahead and rotate that point helper at this point, you should notice that the door is rotating from that axis point. In other words, our door is rotating in a way that actually makes sense, right, if we actually had this in a scene.